And we are continuing to follow breaking news from Israel's border with Gaza. Rockets and mortar fire coming into southern Israel sent from Hamas. And of course, all of this is causing an increase in tensions. We have an update now to breaking news. A man is in jail after an intense chase that wound all throughout the metro area. Tonight, the OSBI is investigating after a man was shot and killed in Sand Springs late Sunday night. Good day to be a cactus. Thank you, Mike. Oh, you're a wild card. Well, it's Friday, so we're talking about trolls, but in a minute, we're going to be talking about the weather. What on <laughs> earth? Goodness, Eli. A lot of changes coming our way. Right now, the penny sales tax is funding better streets and the Safer City Initiative, but that expires next March. Right here in the United States, parts of the eastern seaboard are still on a hurricane watch as the hurricane moves ever closer to Florida. In those cases, Erdogan made the case that his country was facing terrorism. In March, Turkish troops actually killed 22 people on one day. 14 on the next day. The death toll, of course, was far higher among civilians over the course of the operation there. How convenient for Erdogan to forget how he handled far smaller problems on his own border as he criticizes Israel today. The U.S. Ambassador David Friedman will actually be working only part-time from Jerusalem, and that is in response to the many countries who are opposed to the U.S. Embassy move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. For those countries, when he does meet them in Israel, it's going to be here in Tel Aviv at the consulate. You know, I have to say, though, from the Chinese perspective, it's very difficult for anything they do to have any teeth, because if you look at what they do right now, they actually already impose tariffs on a number of American products. And I'm going to give you cars, for example, a 25% import tax on American-made cars, whereas the U.S. only imposes a 2.5% tax on cars made in China. So my question for you is, does China really have any ability to retaliate in this conversation today? 